Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, welcome to the hit show, A Story Written by a Current Prisoner. You know, on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, you know, a lot of people are with their family, you know, feeling some of the happiest feelings, you know, one could experience being with their loved ones, unwrapping gifts, you know, having holiday cheer and, and feels of joy. You know, on the other end, you know, and, and on Christmas Eve, some people are literally breathing their last breath as their life is being taken from them in a vicious manner while they're looking the aggressor in the eyes while while they were overpowered or or they were whatever whatever it was you know the other man got the best of them you know what i'm saying someone got the best of you i can only imagine what those last couple thoughts were going through his mind man this is not a joke this is not a game 20 people or so have lost their lives this year alone in the california prison system you know what I'm saying? This is just another year. This is just another report. Ain't no big deal. We have some breaking news coming out of Salinas Valley State Prison. Approximately around 2 p.m. on Saturday afternoon, they discovered inmate Ross Nusser unresponsive in a cell. Despite staff using life-saving measures and transferring outside of prison for medical treatment, it would not matter because he would succumb to his injuries and be pronounced dead at 7 p.m. The 45-year-old victim, Ross Nusser, was sentenced out of Riverside County on October 5th to serve a life sentence with the possibility of parole for assault to produce great bodily injury. The cellmate, who authorities believe is a suspect in this homicide, is a 45-year-old male sentenced out of Kings County, initially sentenced to four years in prison for possession of admonition by a prohibited person, only to catch six more years in 2017 for battery on an inmate and catch another four-year sentence in 2018 for assault on an inmate with a deadly weapon weapon wow there you have it ladies and gentlemen the assailant who authorities believe is the perpetrator in this vicious homicide initially was sentenced to prison for four years he caught another six years and then caught another four he added 10 more years on the sentence for assaults either way that's still only 14 years you know what i'm saying he was going home Especially with all these law changes, he would have went home, man, maybe six years, five years. You know what I'm saying? No big deal. Now he's probably catching life. You know what I'm saying? I, I know they're still trying to send people to death row, but death row don't even exist no more in the state of California. But they haven't, they haven't executed no one in years. You know what I'm saying? Death row don't exist, you know? They're going to send... She's just going to be chilling in prison with a tablet. It ain't no big deal, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? What it is, ladies and gentlemen, you know... You know, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's very unfortunate. As I stated, you know, some people are, are chilling with their loved ones on Christmas Eve. You know, I was happy that day. And I could I wouldn't think twice that someone was literally uh, being viciously taken from the earth. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a little quick report on Christmas Eve, you know. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button on your way. Man, much love to each and every single one of your interview will be dropping shortly.